Hey, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Welcome back to part three of our three-part series on the cooling refresh on this F80 M3. In part one of our series, we showed you how to install a CSF charge air cooler. In part two, we installed a CSF front mount heat exchanger. And in today's video, part three, we're gonna show you how to get 30% more efficiency with the CSF DCT cooler. Let's pick up where we left off after the last video. So as we can see, we had our front mount heat exchanger. Now we already have the stiffening plate and also some underbody trim pre-removed. If you're not sure how to do that, be sure to check out videos one and two. Let's get started with a 13 millimeter. There's three that you need to remove. There's one here, there's one here, and then there's one over here because we need to get under this. Okay. And there's three. And then you can just very gently, just watch your eyes too, move this out of the way. Now this piece here that we just lowered, this is what's cooling down your oil. What we need to get to is actually what's right about here. Um, and then you can see the two ends of it right there. So to do so, we're going to need a T25. There's one screw on this side and one on the other. I'm just gonna leave that just like that for now. And we'll work on the other side. Okay. Take that out. Now carefully remove the one on the other side. And watch your eyes here. We're gonna pull this down. All kinds of junk in there. Next, what we need to do is we need to remove these plastic connections right here. Now, the way that this works is you slide this down. So as you can see, this little piece with the ridges is as far up as it can go. Once you do that, you'll be able to press it in and then pull it off. And as you can see, we have our catch can ready. We have some towels over this to protect that. You pinch and then you just very slowly pull it up. Now, before that starts leaking out, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now, because of the angle, it's going to be very difficult to show, but it's the exact same process. Uh, it's a little bit more awkward just because of the angle, um, because it's, it's hidden behind, but um, what I've done is I have released that one as well. Um, just have your new oil cooler ready to go. And what I can do is I can pull this one off, pull this one off, and we're gonna go pretty quick here. We're gonna pull this out. Again, make sure you have something that's ready to catch everything. We're gonna line this up, okay, just like that. And then you wanna clip it in and make sure that everything is, is fully engaged and you'll hear it clip in, so you'll, you'll know when it's, when it's good to go. All right, so that side is in and the other side is in, so we are good and we can stop getting oily. <laughs> And here we can see the size difference. I don't know why, but BMW, I feel like they're wasting opportunity with this one right there where the CSF has the fins. So it does a much better job at cooling it. So here we can see side by side comparison. Now, once you're done installing this one, just to this point at least, what I like to do is put those caps from the new one on the old one so you don't leak oil everywhere. Next, what we need to do is we need to make a very slight modification to the small piece of plastic. And again, this is the piece that goes underneath. Um, so what I like to do is I like to use an Ofo blade. It looks like this. I like to use a, a brand new blade and I really like this one because it locks in place. So the first cut is just right here. You just want to go very carefully straight down. Once you've made that cut, what we need to do is we need to cut this piece of plastic off. We need to cut this piece of plastic off, and then this little tab, and then this little tab. So you're gonna make the cut here, then you're gonna cut this off, this off, this off, and this off. So at this time, we'll take care of that. With this plastic, what I like to do is I like to score it a couple times. And then most of the time you can just snap it off. Okay. And if you like, you can try to just smoothen this out a little bit. Now we're going to do 
just reinstall this lower piece of trim. All right, now we can put our engine oil cooler back up here and these get torqued down to 19 Newton meters. At this part of the process, the CSF DCT cooler is fully installed. However, the job is not 100% complete because we lost a little fluid and you need to make sure that you replenish it and top it off with some new DCT fluid. So if you're doing this job at home, this is the product that you're going to need. We're going to save this for another video, but if you're interested in the steps and how to do this, we're not gonna leave you hanging. We're gonna leave all the information in the description below. And that completes our three-part video series on the CSF cooling refresh for this F80 M3. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you're interested in any of the parts that we showed in today's video, be sure to see the links in the description. As always, give us a like, make sure to subscribe, and check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all of your BMW retrofit, performance, and aesthetic needs. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.